Hello, everyone. Good pen friends and pen fountain pen ink uh, pals. Um, today, I just wanted to kind of show off a little bit a new pen I just acquired. Um, it is vintage and it is um, a Waterman, of course. It's very tiny. And um, this is the Waterman Lady Patricia. Um, it is one of their higher end pens um, from the 1930s. And I'm going to try to get this in focus if it will cooperate. Sometimes it will, sometimes it won't. All right. Um, this, I guess, is about as good as it's going to get. And as you can see, it has a very kind of deco um, clip, um, a nice gold band with a similar um, uh, pattern in it uh, to the clip. And then the celluloid is this rich blue with kind of a shimmery gold. Um, and these pens are from the 30s, so um, it's really quite remarkable. I snapped it up, um, and it has a nice crisp um, imprint here. Uh, when, they, when the seller sold it, they said that this was um, virtually um untouched uh had never been inked and in fact it did have a price sticker on the bottom so i have this inked and i will show you in a second with one of the new Monar monarca um inks and let's see if you'll there we go beautiful um monarca it's from mexico um, and these are the colors of Mexico, the, and they divide it into semi-desierto, which is the, the, you know, the desert um, of the north, Caribe, which is, of course, the Caribbean in the south. Um, and then they have one special edition, well, when, when I ordered them, one special edition called Rejaguar. Um, so this is a... a a, a fun find um, inks from Mexico um, and what I have in this pen of course is this uh, color um, cenote cenote is one it, it, it's hard to explain it's uh, one of the naturally occurring um, water holes I believe it's naturally occurring um, uh, that uh, the the Mayans and uh, especially well the Mayans um, used uh, you know um, as as fresh water right okay um, and of course they are very very dark and they're very deep and so the water is a very dark blue at any rate so there we are so this um, Lady Patricia, there's a larger size uh, patrician pen. Um, those are very difficult to find. They're extremely, they're selling for, for very high prices. They're greatly in demand. Um, and so the Lady Patricia being so tiny um, was within my price range. So there we are. Um, this is one of the pens that you really have to post because it's it's fairly small um, and then once posted it's a really nice shaped pen with nice balance as you see right okay um so we are going to do a little whoop. and this is the lady Patricia um, and I have a very nice fairly soft 
um, nib in it um, and so I get some you know a really nice flow of ink um, it's just about perfect um, in my opinion okay and so then what I have in the pen of course is Monarca ink um, and this I believe is uh, the, at least their offices are in Monterrey in Mexico um, so this is from Mexico right. and this is Cenote and that's the color so um, this ink, I will also say, is is has a, a, an extra delight. It is very dark, um, but it has amazing um, pink red sheen. And for those who are skeptical about the, the the concept of sheen, oh, and here's um the bottle. I should have shown that to you as well. Um, Monarca, All right. And Cenote, if I can get that to, there we go, Cenote, um, a very dark blue. And they ship it um, in very beautiful boxes with images of, of Mexican, um, you know, countryside and, you know, um, and they also come with this wooden um, holder uh that has um some little grippers in there so it holds the bottle of ink very nicely and then a pen um holder as well it's just a nice little addition to it um the inks are slightly slightly expensive in comparison to others and and i assume it's for all these nice little goodies um but I think it is a lovely ink. Um, this one particularly, come on, you little, oh, you always get stuck on there. Well, okay. No? There we are. Okay. Um, and we're going to take a look at this nice color. It is nearly black in a very you know with a very lot of liquid um but as you can see it is this kind of um really just a great medium blue it's not turquoise it's not um purpley it's just a nice medium blue okay and let me see if i can get some of the sheen to show up for you okay we're gonna dump you off there yes um you can see the sheen um like in the patricia word you can see that red sheen um yeah, it just depends on where I can catch the light. There you go. So Monarca ink. Yeah, you can see that red sheen. Um, and it is really a beautiful, smooth, you know, good writing ink. Um, if you want to see it with a, um, not a fountain pen, but uh, just a, a glass nib um, which is very fine um, just to have a sense of it so let's see it still has really good flow even with a glass pen all right um, yes. pen. um but it's so saturated that um you know one dip and and you're good to go for a while so i'm really very pleased with that um of course they have other colors and um i think 
for some people, they would they will really enjoy um, the Mar Caribe, um, which is a beautiful. Um, it's almost the color of these gloves, to be honest, um, as you see. Uh, um, it's kind of a sky blue. It's very pretty. Um, uh, do I have any other ones? I know I've got Nopal, which is a, a dark green. Um, this is the oddest of the colors, Arena Blanca. And so it's tan. I mean, it's a, it's just tan, and it's very light. Um, so not all of the inks are super saturated. This one is, is quite interesting. I'm not, I have to play with it a little bit more um, because it is, um, it's, it's quite light. So you really have to find the right pen for it. You need the right uh, nib for it. That'll really allow the ink to flow. Otherwise, um, it's terribly, it would be difficult to read, I, I would guess, um, unless you have a real, you know, stark white paper. Um, and most of my papers are a little bit more um, ivory or cream. Um, so, yeah, check out that machine. All right, something to think about. Something new and exciting, um, or at least to me. I have not had these, uh, seen these before. Um, I've also uh, ordered a, a number of Birmingham inks, and so I will be showing those in the days to come uh, when they arrive. I'm very excited. Um, so, once again, I thank you very much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you next time. <laughs>